I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today is July the 26th and we are going to have another fun shop update. So let's see what we have going on. So this last week I had two videos come out and number one was on this beautiful Stanley number 244 whoop, miter saw. And this sucker is a beautiful beast. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, um, is this any faster or better than just cutting on the bench and freehand? And in all honesty, if I'm cutting 90 degrees or 45 degrees, I'm going to do it on the bench freehand. That's going to be much faster and just as accurate. Uh, where this really shines is this is for doing all of those weird angles. So let's say you want to do a frame with five sides or six sides or eight sides, or you want to do a 24 segment ring for a bowl. Uh, this, you just set it to 24 segments and you cut and it's the exact angle it needs to be. It is beautiful and it is designed for doing frames. Um, and so for that particular use, or if I'm doing like, a, um, if I'm doing crown molding, this is fantastic for that. Uh, but for everyday cutting of 90 degree and 45 degree angles, um, I really don't need this. So that's where that's coming from. Um, as to the video, it is actually um, going much faster than I had anticipated and apparently people like it. So um, feel free to go check that out. It is a, a fun video. The second video for this week was how to sharpen Stanley 45 or Stanley 55 irons. Um, now the basic ones are, are fairly straightforward. They're basically just a chisel, um, but some of them have coves and curves and uh, they're a little bit more tricky to work with. And so I figured I'd do a, a video on, okay, how do you sharpen something with an inside curve? And I really had a lot of uh, interesting response to this one. Some people uh, really didn't like the way I did it and some people really did. And uh, that's really about personal taste and how you sharpen things. Uh, one of the big questions I had asked is why do you only go to 400 grit when sharpening the bevel on the, uh, the, the front side of the blade? And the actual answer is that uh, the bevel side of the blade um, almost never touches, well, the bevel side of the blade does not touch the work. The very tip of the blade touches the work and the back of the blade touches the work. And so those are the areas you want those to be up to a really high grit. Um, and also for something small like this, you're really not gonna be able to feel a difference between 400 or 1,000 or 4,000. Um, it's really not a, a huge matter. Also, if you were to be sanding your wood and you sanded it all the way to 400 grit, most people would think you were crazy for going that high in grit. So it's, uh, it's just a personal preference. You may want to go higher. You can get slip stones to take it higher grits, or you can get like a, um, automotive sandpaper, wet sandpaper to go to higher grits. Um, great, go for it. Uh, for me, 400 grit is fine. So this week, I honestly have no idea what videos I'm going to be doing. Uh, this is, uh, I have a lot of them queued up. I've got probably about a half dozen ready to go, and I don't know which one I'm going to be doing. Um, I have uh, several collaborations that I'm working on, thus this pi pile of beautiful shavings <laughs> and uh, some glue ups going over here. I'm having a lot of fun with that. and. Uh, this is really turning out to be a lot more work than I expected. Uh, but another one I might be doing is actually, how do you take a, uh, a cheap number five plane and uh, turn it into a four plane or a scrub plane uh, with a cambered iron? And uh, rather than spending you know a couple hundred dollars for a new Lee Nielsen or uh, Veritas or something of that nature, can you make one out of a cheap $5 plane in about 10 minutes? So that's a video I think I'm gonna be putting out this week and I don't know. Um, and this is going to be going off to a good friend of mine Donnie Carter uh, because he's the one who gave me the idea for the video and so I have this extra plane and he needs a scrub plane so there you go Donnie so I really don't have a whole lot coming on uh, this next couple weeks, um, basically because uh, a lot of my time right now is spent uh, training for running a half marathon with my wife. Um, and so I'm running at her pace uh, so that she can do her first half marathon, which I am just absolutely overjoyed to be able to chance to run with my wife. Um, on the, uh, the tool front, um, I'm really looking forward to woodworking in America come September. Uh, my hotel is booked, travel plans are booked. Um, I'm gonna be there for the entire time. I'm coming the day before and staying for a day after, um, and we'd love to see you. So if you're going to WIA, let me know. Um, I would love to uh, do a meetup and uh, get to meet you there. Also, the Midwest Tool Collectors Association is having a meeting in Chicago. It is actually at a, a farm museum, um, and so that will be open to the Midwest Tool Collectors group. Uh, so if you're gonna be at that, please let me know. I'd love to say hey and uh, meet you there. I may even be there with all of my kids uh, because my wife will be working that day, so that should be kind of fun. 
So that should be about it for this week. Um, not a whole lot going on, but I do have a pile of videos coming out and I'm really looking forward to showing those to you. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like and think about subscribing. I do want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing and I cannot express to you how much of an encouragement you are to me. So thank you for that and uh, looking forward to talking to you next time. If you did like this video, you might like one of the others. And until next time, have a wonderful day.